Alright, so we gotta talk about uh, a UFC fighter by the name of Jake Hadley. If y'all don't know who Jake Hadley is, he's in the flyweight division. He just fought this past weekend at UFC Nashville, San Hagen versus Font. And <laughs> he had a he had a lackluster performance versus Cody Durden. Um he lost that fight. Um I knew that he would lose the fight. I mean the matchup just wasn't in his favor. And he's a type of fighter that um, he relies too much on his BJJ, even though he's a, you know, he's a good striker. It's like he's so easily taken down. And then when he's, you know, once he's taken down, he just relies on trying to get a submission. So the fight obviously wasn't going to play out well for him, you know, versus the wrestler like Cody Durden. But um, he put out a statement <laughs> and this is what he had to say. Lost the fight. Few things went wrong before the fight. I almost died during the weight cut. I actually saw God for a second. Couldn't rehydrate like normal. Felt like that had a major effect on my performance because I couldn't push like normal. Anyone who knows me knows I never gas. I'm like, what the hell is going on? Man, oh man. I mean, <laughs> yo, it's just hilarious, bro. Because it's like, if you guys watch the fight, like, I mean, the man literally just had poor fight iq decisions it had it's just funny like how these fighters sometimes like come out with these like insane excuses and i'm not saying that that's completely not the truth that he could have had a bad weight cut yeah bad weight cuts happen but for him to sit there and say he almost saw god for a second like, it's just like bro you went out there and you had a bad performance like you didn't you, you're just not like your takedown defense is just not good, bro. That's what it is. Stop making all these excuses. Like, if you guys see Jake Hadley walk out, he's walking out very cringe, trying to do the, the Connor strut. Very, he's very, very cringe. And I'm, I'm just like, bro, you should be working on your takedown defense and stop allowing yourself to be taken down so often and stop playing BJJ nerd off your back. It's just not working. You know what I'm saying? His first fight versus Alan Nascimento. He got dominated. Alan, you know, Alan Nascimento is more so of a grappler, meaning like he's a, a BJJ guy, but he, his wrestling was on point. Why? Because Jake Halley so easily taken down. Then Jake Halley got thrown two cans. Um, and then the most recent can he got thrown was Malcolm Gordon, who's been finished like 10 times. So obviously he was going to get a finish there. And then he gets right back to having to fight a grappler. And then he just looks the same way he looked versus Alan Nascimento. Um, so I don't know what the hell he's trying to talk about, trying to like sit there and say he felt like that had a big effect on his performance. No, work on your takedown defense and then things will get better from there. So I had to just make a video on this, man. It's just hilarious when fighters do stuff like this, like try to like blame their performance strictly on a weight cut. Like, bro, if it's that bad, just pull out of the fight. I don't know why fighters do this. If you almost died, pull out of the fight. You're a human being, not a robot. So it's just hilarious to see it. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments section down below. Uh, hey, man, he almost saw God. So prayers for Jake Hadley in the comment section. Um, like this video, and I'll catch you guys in the next one, man. Peace.